Arrays have two methods that are easy to mix up, or at least I have mixed them up in the past, and they are slice and splice. Today's tutorial was prompted by a comment on another tutorial, so we are going to look at these two methods. Although slice and splice sound very similar, and hence the reason I mixed them up in the past, they are very distinct. Let me identify what each method does and we'll look at some examples. So first, let's take a look at slice. Now slice returns a portion of the array as a second array. So really it's taking a subarray from the array we invoke it on and it returns it as a second array. It does not modify the array it is invoked on. And this is very different from splice. Slice doesn't modify the array we're working with. And that's an important distinction between these two methods. The first argument for slice specifies the starting element. Zero marks the first element, one the second element, and so on. So the first argument specifies the starting element of those we want to extract. The second argument specifies the ending argument. So that identifies which elements we want to extract and put into the second array. Now remember, it doesn't remove them. It doesn't modify that array. It just takes those elements and creates a second array out of them. And finally, the second argument is optional. So if we don't include the second argument, basically what it means is go to the end of the array. So it'll start at the element we specify and extract to the end of the array. All right, let's look at some examples before we talk about splice. Here's our array that we're going to be working with. Let's just do a simple example first. I'm going to declare a, another variable. This is where the subset array will be placed. And I'm going to do arr.slice. I'm taking a slice of this array. That's now how I remember it, so I don't mix them up. I'm taking a slice of the ARR array, and I'm going to begin with the first element, and I'm going to extract up to, but not including, element number two. Now, that's an important thing to remember, up to, but not including. So we're starting here, and we're going to extract zero, one, and stop. Let's take a look at that. Going to refresh, open the console, and let's look at ARR1 and see we have one and two. We have both of those elements. We did not include the third element. Now let's see if it modified the array at all. It did not. It does not modify the array that it is invoked on. All right, another example. Let's do ARR2. Set that equal to error.slice. And let's start with the third element and extract up to, but not including. So what is that going to get? Well, 0, 1, 2. So it's going to start with a 3. It will go up to, but not include the fourth element. So it's going to extract the three. That's all we're going to get there. That's how we can do a single pull out a single argument from the array. So let me save that one. ARR2. We see there it is, the three. Didn't pull out anything else. And ARR is still not modified. It's not mutated at all. That's the reason some people avoid splice because splice will mutate the array, which we'll look at in just a second. Let's do one more example though. I mentioned that the second argument is optional. So let's do one without that second argument. This time we're going to start at element five, which we specify with a four, and then we will extract the rest of the array. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we should get a 5 and a 6. Save that. Now let's look at ARR3. We do get the 5 and the 6. And once again, the original array is not mutated. 
All right, so that is slice. Now let's take a look at splice. One letter difference, and they sound very similar, and that's why I would frequently mix them up. So splice modifies the array on which it is invoked. So this is a, a distinct difference between slice and splice. And as I mentioned, one reason that some people don't use splice because it mutates the array they're working on. Now, the nice thing about splice is it can do more than one thing. And that's what we're going to look at. The first argument specifies the array position for insertion or deletion. Notice two things it can do. It can insert elements into an array and it can delete elements from an array. So this particular method is more complex than slice, mainly because it can do two different things. Now the second argument indicates the number of elements to delete. So the first argument specifies the array position where to start. Then if the second argument is anything but zero, it will delete elements. And that number indicates how many elements to delete. The deleted elements are returned as an array. So we can receive back those deleted elements as an array. And it also modifies the array we are invoking. So those elements that are removed are placed into a second array and removed from the original array. Now the second argument is optional. So if the second argument is omitted, basically what it does is delete from the starting position to the end of the array. It removes those elements. Finally, each additional argument that comes after delete, those arguments are inserted into the array and they're ins inserted at the start position. So let's look at some examples for splice so we can better understand this. I'm going to comment out these ones here. And let's start by... using ARR1 again, we're going to delete something first. So ARR.splice, and now let's start deleting at position three, and we'll delete two elements. So let me save that. So zero, one, two, and it's going to delete two elements. So let's look at what happens there. Refresh and open the console. Let's look at ARR1. Remember what gets returned here is what was deleted. So the 3 and the 4 was deleted. So 0, 1, 2, and then 2 elements. So those two were deleted. Now let's look at the original array. Sure enough, it was modified. All right, another example. Let's leave off the second argument this time. So let ARR2 equal ARR.splice4. Now what is this going to remove? Now think about this for a little bit. I'm being a little bit tricky with this example here. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So I'm going to save that, come back, refresh. Let's look at ARR2. It's an empty array. Why is there nothing in it? Let's look at ARR. Are you seeing what happened now? Remember this statement here. Splice mutates the array it is invoked on. So ARR has been modified, has been changed. So once we get to this statement down here, it only has four elements in the array. So starting with the fifth element, it doesn't find anything. All right, so to see what this would do with our original rate, we need to comment out this line here. So let me do that and we'll take a look at it again. Error two, there we go. Now we have five and six. So it started with element five and went to the end of the array and we can see that the array is modified. All right, for our next example, I'm going to comment this one out so we can work with our original array and see what is happening. Now let's do some inserting. So I'm going to 
let ARR3 equal whatever we delete. In this case, we're not going to delete anything. We're just going to insert. And the way we do that is we indicate the starting position of where we want to insert the elements. And then we put a zero as the second argument, indicating that we don't want to delete anything. And then here's what we want to insert. We're going to insert the letter A and B. So let's see what happens with that. Save it. Refresh. ARR3. Notice it comes back with an empty array because we did not delete anything. Let's see how it modified the existing array. And there we go. We have the A and the B inserted at that position that I indicated. So 1, 2, A, B, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. For our final example, let's look at how we can delete and insert at the same time. So, whoops. This time we'll use AR4 and we'll set that equal to AR.splice. And we're going to start with the third position again. So we'll put a two and we're going to delete one element and then we'll add the letter A and the letter B. So we'll delete one element and then add those. So we're doing both at the same time. I'll save that. Let's jump out, refresh, ARR4, see so what we get there. We do get one element. The three has been removed and shows up there. And we can see that it modified the existing array. So that is slice and splice. Remember, splice mutates the array on which it is invoked. It's an important thing to remember. And it is much more complex because it can both remove and delete elements. I hope this was helpful and look forward to any comments you have about these two methods. To continue learning, here are some suggestions. Click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the circle link on the left. I release a new tutorial each week. If you're ready to dive into full courses, click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com. Thanks for watching.